He's back! Morning, other. So, we keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Well, that'd be nice. Join the commune. So, we moving? Yeah. We stop when we find some place sensible, shake them that's following us, and lie low. This is lying low? We turned into a bunch of killers, I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Sure, this can wait. I never thought I'd see him one to head south. Right. Now, hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. You're ready for business. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Come, be careful. I'm being careful. So 
okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. Shader, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? It's German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? They ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a... Girl. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, I think this is the right way. Give me a second. Looks like they cut off down the trail to the left. You're right. OK, come on. So, anyway. Well, maybe what are you, you don't doing? know me as well as you think you do. Hold up. Let me check this. Look, they go along the shore there. I see them. said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well, if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Oh, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. They carry on along this trail. Back to what I was talking about. When Jack was real young. A long while. Year. He did? And we was family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. Hey, quiet now. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. this guy I don't know but you know something this is a better camp spot than back there much easier to defend maybe there he is quick cut him free and let's get out of here I see three coming this way. What the hell do you think you're doing? What are we doing? This ain't even our goddamn fight. He ain't getting free until we get paid. That on him? Doesn't look like it. Last 
Someone's making a run. Well, that's them dealt with. You get them untied, and I'll see what they've left behind for us. Bitte, lass uns mich gehen. Hier drüben. Okay, we're getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Take you back to your family. Hat meine Familie sie geschickt? Also soll ich mitkommen? Okay, girl. Wo bringen Sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld? Money? Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Uh, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. You're all right, girl. Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Oh. Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! Beinahe wärst du gewesen, meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar! Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. ist klar. Vamos. Uh. Ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. Uh, <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> um, it's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. 
I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves. You know, a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long time. Always green, crushing, and bubble burst with you. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fishing. Come on, then. fish here. There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipes some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Ah, this... Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Whoa. Gentlemen, well, look what the well, cat Well, well, look who it is. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. Now, he is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur, 
Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train. Don't let them get away. And do not shoot them, you hear me? Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Uh, looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Come on. Come on. You fellas couldn't arrest a blind woman. Ha <laughs> ha! Ooh, that must have hurt. Leave him. Stay with that train. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. Yeah. to get alongside it. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. Stop bastards. I didn't do nothing. Arrest me now. Damn fool. Dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just a barrel. Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? You take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. <clears throat> He'll wake if you don't get a move on. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Fault. For me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. 
The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Is the Rhodes Parlor House? Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. Oh, good, they're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Come on, partner, before he wakes up. Bring him in so we can show Sheriff Gray. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! <gasps> we got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However... I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. Now make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Now, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Gray's, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying... Arthur, That's Jose, you start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some sort. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea. You see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Uh, I'll need to relax someplace. Fair enough. It looks like it's you and me, old man.
Hey, folks. Heard the what? You're interrupting it's my all day. good. Calm down. Hey, y'all. We had enough of your foolishness already here. Howdy, friend. Looks like you can't get rid of me so easy, huh? Okay, this should be good. your heels okay now let me see Listen, you won't take all day, will you? Got some nice parts for that gun, you know. All right. Weapon's only as good as its stock. Got some fine ones cut just for it. Interested in engraving some? Make that weapon your own. You're gonna buy something, right? Listen, you won't take all day, will you? You're gonna buy something, right?
Listen, you won't take all day, will you? And I'll wait to give this a try. Get me out, please. Oh, uh, you're still down there? Yes, I'm still down here because nobody will help me. Will you do something, please? It's a fool decision. I want to see what's in that basement of yours. Show me. Right now. Nothing to no worse down there, I swear. Well, why don't I be the judge of that? Open it now! All right, all right. I ain't got nothing to hide. I've got my boy sleeping down there. It's such a shame to wake him. You know, you can always come back after he wakes up. Now what I tell you about talking to your pa that way. Oh, oh, thank God. He can't see I only do it for his own good. Just what the hell is going on here? He was being a bad little boy, stealing candy from the store again. It's for his own good. I'm not your little boy, you mad. Why are you wearing that sailor suit? That crazy maniac put me in it. He thinks I'm his kid's son. Kidnapped me, he did. Do I look like a kid? <laughs> Always in such a rush to grow up these days, aren't they? Please. Please help me. He, he's got me chained up here. Don't take him away from me. No, the chains. Shoot he's the all chains. All I got. <laughs> oh, oh, finally. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Oh, you, you sick I'm sorry. Son of a... Please forgive me. I know it was wrong. I just couldn't face that he was gone. I was teaching what Sammy man? how to hold the rifle proper out by the river. The recoil shot him backwards. He slipped into the river. The water pulled him downstream so quick. It all happened so fast, I didn't know what to do. I searched up and down that riverbank for days. But I couldn't find my boy. I just miss him so much. And you! You remind me of him. You look just like him. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. It's too late for apologies. You just count yourself lucky that I don't kill you for what you did. Was depriving a father of his son not enough else for you? you? Want from me. Take what you want. I don't care anymore. Oh. <laughs>
Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sheriff. Great. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Archibald? How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey, Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So. These moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Dear me, that don't look good. Oh. Come on, mister. 
Keep your eyes open. Could try washing no. once in a while. This must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Go right at the crossroads. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. They're right again here. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. The drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are, selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to them. Don't even look them in the eye. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. You see one by the bridge over there? Take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. this bastard up. I, I think there's another one by the still.
Gentlemen, I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. I think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about that. <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. and get out of here. Fine by me. Forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no-good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move We have a life move on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen, these two families, 
I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're off. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. Quite so good at running away, Arthur. Well, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're, I was gonna say you're like a son to me, but you're more than that. <laughs> 